Good morning. So let us uh, continue with what we were discussing in the previous class. We were talking about the story, the watery place, the story of the aliens visiting a city in the United States. And uh, we saw that uh, the aliens had come to visit the Sharif. And the narrator of the story is the deputy sheriff. He has no name, but the sheriff's name is Bart Cameron. And Bart Cameron was busy with his income tax forms. And he is already an impatient man. A person is very, very irritable, who can get angry very fast. So he was busy with his income tax forms when these aliens came. Only the narrator, that is the deputy sheriff, he saw the people coming in the flying saucer. So he understood that these people are aliens. They appear like people from the city, but they were actually aliens. So though these people, the aliens, they explained to the Sharif that they are people from Venus, the watery place. The Sharif doesn't understand. Why, why doesn't he understand? Why is he not able to understand that they are aliens? They are like normal human beings. Exactly, Joffrey, that is right. They were they appear like normal human beings, and only the narrator had seen the flying saucer. The uh, Sharif did not see the flying saucer. And when they said that they are people from Venus, the watery place, Sharif did not attend properly. So this is the importance of listening. So uh, Sharif was not listening properly and therefore he did not understand that they are uh, aliens. The aliens did not hide the fact that they were aliens. They were open about it. But the Sharif did not properly listen because he had uh, he had this uh, thinking that these people are foreigners. So this thought that these people are foreigners it was there in his mind. So he was not listening to that uh, uh, fact that they were aliens. So then uh, what happened? He, he, he was asked, he asked these aliens what they wanted. So what did the aliens want? What was the demand of the aliens? We have they come there they have they come there they have these aliens come What did they ask? The Sharif asked them, what can I do for you? So the alien said something. What did they say? It was the demand of the aliens. Why did they come there? Please answer, please say something. We have the aliens come there, what is their demand? Somebody can respond, Jisna, are you there? Jisna. Just now. Uh, 
is also the obvious that yes now yes exactly <laughs> shima that is right they wanted to see the president so they wanted the uh, they wanted to meet the important people of the city including the president of the united states they wanted them to join their organizations that is what that is what they are asking for so uh, that was their demand and sharif uh, he responded by saying that we already are part of many organizations so we don't want to uh, join one more organization so because we are already part of many organizations it is not necessary we don't think that it is necessary to join another organization and he gets angry with the foreigners for actually making such a demand and he shouts at them he tells them that if they don't go away immediately he will arrest them and put them in prison so this was something that the for uh, the aliens did not expect from the sharif and they are shocked but they are very calm in their response they say that uh, okay if you don't like to discuss with us we will go away but they give a punishment the punishment is that nobody will be able to come into the earth and no one from the earth will be able to go into the space so this is the punishment that the aliens have given to the people of the earth because of the mistake made by bart camero and the narrator was unable to warn the sharif that these people are aliens because he was so shocked that no voice came out of his mouth but the moment they went out of the office the narrator gets back his voice and he shouts to the sharif and shows him the people getting into the flying saucer so that is when the sharif understands that they are aliens so then he says that uh, it his mistake was that he uh, thought that they were foreigners so that is the next paragraph i think this is what we have to read so he thinks that they are foreigners and that is why he mistakes them to be foreigners that is why he behaved very rudely with them suppose he had understood suppose he had understood that they are uh you know, not uh, foreigners suppose they have here understood that they are not foreigners but um uh, aliens he would have behaved better avaru matte rajyakaranu tetidirichu kondanu mattu grahangalil ninnu vannavaranu arinjirundengile chilappa iyalu nannayittu behave ede so this is the problem he thought that they are foreigners okay let us read the next paragraph request nandana raj so please read cameron said uh, i thought they were foreign and they talked funny and looked italian uh, i thought they were italian. how could the alien yeah they they were from planet the planet venus i hear them uh, they called the is uh, or something you know in have a lot but thank you thank you nanda sir thank you so uh, he says uh that he he thought that they were foreigners so that was the mistake that uh, cameron committed because the, they were dressed like uh, uh foreigners they spoke like english in not a fluent language so they spoke like italians so that is why he thought that they were italians and he gives some further explanations later also so the narrator says why did you think that they were italians they said it they very clearly said that they are from the watery place which you call venus so why why didn't the uh, sharif hear it properly because he was busy thinking of his income tax but chala karyangal nammal paranjalum mattiyalu kettollonnilla 
കാരണം എന്താണ് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കണമെന്നില്ല കേട്ടാലും ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചാൽ മാത്രമേ മനസ്സിലാവുള്ളൂ സോ ഷെറീഫ് വാസ് ഹിയറിംഗ് ബട്ട് നോട്ട് ലിസണിങ് ഓക്കെ സോ ദർ ഇസ് എ ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഹിയറിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ലിസണിങ് യു മേ ഹിയർ മെനി തിങ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ക്ലാസ് ബട്ട് വെദർ വി ലിസൺ വിൽ ഡിറ്റർമിൻ വെദർ വി അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വാട്ട് വി ഹിയർ so here the sharif was hearing the words of the uh, aliens that they are from the watery place called venus but he was not properly listening because he was thinking of his income tax forms so when you are thinking of something else even if you hear what is said in any way whether it be in the class whether if you are in the conversation you will not understand anything so long as you are not listening so it is not enough to hear with the ear yo know, we should also apply our mind only then we will be able to understand what is being said so they very clearly said these uh, aliens said very clearly said that they are from the watery place called venus so that's why that's why the narrator says that i heard them look at that sentence so he, he is not guessing anything he was very attentive അപ്പം ഫ്ലൈങ് സോസർ കണ്ടതുകൊണ്ട് മാത്രമല്ല അവരുടെ ഏലിയൻസ് ആണെന്ന് മനസ്സിലായത് ദ ഓൾസോ സെഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഐ ഹേർഡ് ദം സോ വൈ ഡിഡ് ദ നറേറ്റർ ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഷറീഫ് ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് ഹിയർ ദ വെർ സ്പീക്കിംഗ് ടു ദ ഷറീഫ് ആൻഡ് ദ നറേറ്റർ വാസ് സ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് ബിസൈഡ് സോ വൈ ഡിഡ് ദ നറേറ്റർ ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ദ ഷറീഫ് ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് ഹിയർ വാട്ട് വാസ് ദ റീസൺ വൈ ഡിൻ ജി ഹിയർ സുബിത സുബിത ടി എസ് സുബിത ടി എസ് ശ്രീലക്ഷ്മി ശ്രീജിത്ത് ശ്രീലക്ഷ്മി ശ്രീജിത്ത് കൃഷ്ണേന്ദു കെ ജി നറേറ്റർ ഹിയർ ബട്ട് Sharif did not hear. What is the reason? Sir, 
வாட்டரி <laughs> பிளேஸ் this was clearly mentioned by the aliens but the sharif was not listening and the narrator was listening the sharif was not listening because he was busy he was busy with his income tax forms so that is last part of the story now you understand why the sharif made a mistake that the to think that they are aliens so what was that reason why he thought that they are aliens so let us now read that last paragraph ramina Amina Yusuf what is happening nobody is responding in the class everybody has switched on their phone and gone to sleep there were rakthilana nobody i call what is happening why is of you what is happening these people are not responding peru vilikunna oru aaru respond cheyunnilla okay there are many people who are responding so i'll take that those people who respond in the chat box are alive and the others are dead <laughs> okay thank you for those responses okay thank you thank you everyone so those who want to listen will listen that's all here we cannot force people to listen is it so those who want to listen can listen others will just switch on and go away so i am not going to conduct any inquiry or something anyway so i think i'll ask somebody to read the agrima please read the next Hello, sir. Yes, yes. But you say it was just an error, a stupid error and kind anyone could make. Only now Earth is ever going to have space travel and or have another Venusian visit us. That fool Cameron and his income tax because he whipped Venus. When they talked about the watery place, I thought they mean Venus. so thank you agrima so this is the major reason for his mistaking first of all he was not listening properly second he misheard so this is the importance of pronunciation also so we have discussed earlier about the importance of spelling here uh, he makes a slight mistake where he misunderstands the these two things okay 
so he, they uh, alien said that they are from venus but he understands that as venice okay venice is a place in italy with lot of water so watery place in the varna patana our italians are on the manasu or mundana okay he has a prejudice because of the way they speak he he is prejudiced into thinking prejudice means that mundarne undavu he he is prejudiced into thinking that they are uh, italians and therefore he thinks that they are from venice or so, venus nu varna venice thana yalla kekkunnu avaru parayunnathu venus thana but he mishears so he misheard it as uh, misheard venus as venice okay so that is the mistake that he makes and because he thinks it as way when he he thinks that these people are foreigners they are from italy venus is the name of a planet venus is the name of a place in italy and uh, there is one more reason that he thinks that it is venice because venice also has a lot of water there are lot of waterways in venice boatle daralam yatra cheyan pattunna oru stalam aanu venice we also have such a place in kerala which is known as uh, venice of the east as anyone know which is this place we have a place in kerala which is known as venice of the east exactly exactly nandana it is alappura yes kutunad is also in alappura so uh, that is called the venice of the east because we all, we have something similar to venice here yes adarva jofi thank you so uh, in alappi if you go there if you go to kutunad you can see that there are lot of scope for traveling in water because of the lot of rivers backwaters etc there there are more waterways than roadways so we can travel more by water than by road if you go to alpi so say, such a place uh, where which has a lot of water in it is venice and in venice you also have a special kind of uh, boats which are known as gondolas okay gondola is a kind of boat that they use in venice so uh, that is also very uh, uh interesting thing to it is very similar to the nammala nattulla vanji maayittu oru vaana similarity ulla oru vehicle aanu so they are called gondolas we we have such a, if you look at google you can see such pictures of gondolas so so the, you can see if you look at uh, this is a typical picture from venice if you look at the image that you have here see on both sides you can see the buildings and in between the uh, there is water and people are traveling in these gondolas so that is a very interesting thing to note See, there is a building. There are buildings on both sides, and the vehicles, uh, the gondolas, are going in between these buildings. And look at the water; it is very clear water, not dirty water. It is very clear water. So this is a typical picture of a gondola, which you can see in uh, Venice. So there is the mistake that he makes that he thinks that uh, it is uh, Venice when they say that it is Venus. so it is a it is a typical situation of mishearing he misheard it as venice so that was the reason that he mission so why did he misunderstand because he was not listening properly why wasn't he listening properly because he was busy with his income tax forms so this is what is called a, a vicious circle okay so one bad thing leading to the other so because he was busy because he was why was he so busy because he had a lot of uh, income and uh, another reason for his getting uh, into trouble was that he was irritable okay so there are many problems which are related to it 
with his character. He is an irritable person, a person who can get angry very fast. On top of it, he was busy with his income tax forms. And because he was busy and irritable, he was not listening properly. Because he was not listening properly, he misheard the name of Venus as Venice. And because he misheard that as Venice, he thought that they were foreigners, they were Italians, whereas actually they were aliens. So this is the mistake that led to the person, the punishment when it comes, it is given to the entire earth. Everybody on earth gets the punishment. So this punishment is given to the entire people of the earth that you will not be able to travel into space and nobody from space can come into the earth. So this is, this is the punishment that is given to earthlings by the aliens. So the, the term Venusian, okay? So such terms, Venusian. Venusian is a person from Venice, okay? Venusian. And person from Venice is called, what is a person from Venice called? Venus Nurlala Venetian in the Vulikim. A person from uh, Venusian. Venus is called a Venusian. A person from Venice is called a Venetian. Okay. V E N E T I O N. So this is uh, like you have nations and nationality. Okay. Nations and nationality. For example, one example I will give you, India, Indian. A person from Japan is called a Japanese. What is a man from France called? A person from Japan is called Japanese. What is a man from France called? Anybody? Okay, if that is difficult, try this one. What do you call a person from Germany? That's right, Sri Lakshmi. It is German. A person from Germany is called German. A person from France is called a French person. Okay, yes, Limia. So a person from France is called a French. An American, a person from America is called an American like that. So here we have a, this term called Venusian, a person from Venus, that is the planet Venus. So no Venusian will come here and we cannot also go out into space. That's right, American. Yes, sir. So, uh, Now, we'll do some vocabulary exercises, activities. Fill in the blanks using the correct form of the words or phrases you learned in the glossary. Many space missions sent from the Earth were in search of dash. What is the term for aliens which is used in the passage? Aliens in the Pagaram or Waka the way you see the trend, other now the variant of aliens in the Lare meaning love or work. We are in search of aliens now, aliens in the Lala Waka. There is another word which is used instead of aliens. That is right, Shima, you are right. It is extraterrestrials. Yes, Sri Lakshmi, Yopi. That is correct. It is extraterrestrials. Extraterrestrial is correct. Vinci, that is correct. Extraterrestrials. Yes, Safinat, Alina, Afna, Abarna. Oh, 
ओके आदि राके भी थैंक यू फॉर द रेस्पॉन्सेस ज्वेलर्स डैश गोल्ड टू टेस्ट इट्स प्योरिटी सो द देर इज अ वर्ड व्हिच मींस टेस्टिंग यस शिमा इट इज असे शिमा श्री लक्ष्मी शानिबा श्री लक्ष्मी बीबी आदि राके भी जोफी सरगा पिंसी निशिता बिरामी कृष्णेंदु अर्चिता निशिता चित्या सूर्या अंजना अथर्वा सफिनत नंदना राज असे एस असे भाई असे मींस टू मेशर और टू टेस्ट ओके असे इज मेशर और टेस्टिंग Aliens are said to be traveling in flying saucers. That's right, Jofi, Shima, Shaniba. Flying saucers, Abhirami, Sri Lakshmi, Vibhi, Sri Lakshmi, Kaius, Vinci, Archita, Safinat, Vishnintu, Adira, KB, Jitya, Rajesh. अंजना अफना जिसना ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर द रिस्पॉन्सेस यस अगरवा सरगा नंदना अपर्णा ओके द प्रिंसेस नो वाइट हैड ए फेयर डैश तो देर इज वन वर्ड विच हैज द सेम मीनिंग एज कलर Color no la meaning in the work. That is right. Shima, it is complexion. Sri Lakshmi case, it is complexion. Yes, it. Abhirami, Shaniba, Sri Lakshmi, Vibhi, Jaffi, Archita, Tiyas, Shrindu, KG, Adira, KB, Adarna, CS, Anjana, Vibhi, Nandana, Raj, Adarwa, Jitya, Safinath, Nishita, Binsi, Dilmiya, सिटी Jaffi, Shaniba, Sri Lakshmi, Yes, Sarga, Sri Lakshmi, Vibhi, Krishna, Pippi, Nina, Nishita, Nandana, Lina, Binsi, Adira, Abhirami, Anjana, Adarva, Safinat, Adira, Kebi, Jitya, Manjima. Very good. Keep responding like this. Huh? Very nice. Yes, Surya. Isolated, isolated. That is right. Isolated means alone. Okay. Isolated means alone or lonely. Okay. There is another word also which means the same same thing, which is slightly difficult. Means secluded. Okay. All these things have the same meaning: alone, lonely, secluded. They all have the same meaning. Isolated. Okay. immature people dash when they face challenges so here there are the yes exactly go to pieces shima sri lakshmi go to pieces go to pieces means to get angry okay that's the meaning of get angry. go to pieces to to become angry very nice thank you for those responses uh Krishna, Arna, Nandana, Sri Lakshmi, Shima, Sarga, Binsi, Alina, Jaffi, Nishita, Sri Lakshmi, Vibhi, Jitya, Anjana, Vibhi, Atharva, Subita. Go to pieces means become angry. Become extremely angry. Very much angry. That's the meaning of go to pieces. A leather belt was dashed around the dog's neck. 
गर्डल वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस श्रीमा शानिबा श्री लक्ष्मी के ऐसा विरामी अर्चिता श्री लक्ष्मी भी जॉफी रिमिया नंदना सफिनत कृष्णा भिंसी चंद्रा दुर्गा चेतिया निशिता कृष्णेन दुबे यार अंजना वीरिया लीना निन्नस इमेजिंग इट इस गर्डल सो बिकॉज़ इट इस इन द जिसना यस so because it is in the past tense we have to write was nalloru the loan that is in the past tense so we write a leather belt was girdled around the box was it we are talking about the past tense a leather belt was girdled girdled around the box the meaning of girdle means to tie so girdled means it was tied so uh, the leather belt was girdled around the uh, dog's neck okay so so one read the sentences below and fill in the blanks using the antonyms of these words antonyms are opposites so words with opposite meaning are called antonyms what are words with the same meaning called words with same meaning words with opposite meaning are called adjectives vibhida vakkale vibhida arthamulla vakkale antonyms ennu vilikkum ore arthamulla vakkale malayalathile pariyayangal ennu vilikkum english ninde vilikkum that is right shri lakshmi ke yes it is synonyms synonyms is the correct answer synonyms means words with same meaning so here we it is an exercise in finding out the antonyms of the words in bold letters so there is also an example which is done here the narrator says that he is not a pessimist that means that he is actually a very good so many responses wonderful so fast jaffi abirami shaniba limia yes shilakshmi ks manjima anjana sarga nandana raj harsha harsha linen നിഷിതായൻ ശ്രീലക്ഷ്മി വിബി റമീന യൂസഫ് അനുഷ്രി അലീന ബിൻസി ചന്ദ്ര പർണാസി എസ് ജിസ്ന ഓപ്റ്റിമിസ്റ്റ് ഓപ്റ്റിമിസ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ശുഭാപ്തി വിശ്വാസമുള്ള ആളാണ് ഓപ്റ്റിമിസ്റ്റ് സംബഡി ഹൂ തിങ്സ് ദാറ്റ് എവരിബഡി എവറിത്തിങ് ആൻഡ് എവറി വൺ വിൽ ടേൺ ഔട്ട് റൈറ്റ് എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളും ശരിയായി വരും നന്നായി വരും എന്ന് ചിന്തിക്കുന്ന ആളാണ് ഓപ്റ്റിമിസ്റ്റ് നിങ്ങളെങ്ങനെയാണ് ഒപ്റ്റിമിസ്റ്റ് ആണോ പെസിമിസ്റ്റ് ആണോ ഒന്നും ശരിയാവില്ല എന്നാണോ ചിന്തിക്കുക അതോ എല്ലാം ശരിയാവും എന്നാണോ ചിന്തിക്കുക ഓക്കെ ആൻമരിയ താങ്ക് യു ഒപ്റ്റിമിസ്റ്റിക് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഒപ്റ്റിമിസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗുഡ് that shows that we have a positive attitude towards life yes thank you and maria aparna veena anjana limia aparmina safinath indondana optimist avandathu because there is no yes positive attitude towards life that's right jofi it it indicates a positive attitude towards life why should we have a positive attitude towards life because that is the beneficial attitude there is no benefit in becoming negative negative attitude towards life oru byogam illa adu und appadina adu vechondirikkana namukku oru byogam illa adha sanam nammal kayil vechondirikkum we will throw it away so a negative attitude has no benefits oru benefit adu und kittanilla so why we keep that such an attitude so if we have such an attitude we should throw it away So there may be many methods okay so whatever method we can choose choose that method to throw such negative attitudes away and bring in positive attitude in your life so that is very important if you want to succeed 
so it is not important to uh, learn and earn so many things in life but it is more important to become a better person okay our personality is much more important than the kind the amount of money or education or position that we achieve in life so that is the importance of becoming an optimist and not a pessimist okay pessimist nu parnal ellathine kurichu negative aayittu sindikkunna aalu shubhapthi vishwasam ottum illatha aalu okay next one yesudas is a veteran singer however he also encourages dash artists novis okay very good jofi shima manjima pinsi nishita shri lakshmi bibi alina ns afna p anandana raj adira k b anjana ns sachida t s limia febina birami ns Mina Brahmi is uh, Krishna Vipi. Novice, it is pronounced as Novice. Okay. This, this is how it is pronounced. So it's known as N-O-V-I-C-E, but it's pronounced as Novice. You know, in the pronunciation. Those two slashes on either side indicate that it is the sound. Pronunciation on the indicate here, and on the slashes it is the It is the pronunciation of Novice. N-O-V-I-C-E. Novice means somebody who is a beginner. എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഒന്നും ഇല്ലാത്ത ആളാണ് നോവിസ് ഹൈലി എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ്ഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ആള് സംബഡി ഹു ഇസ് വെരി സീനിയർ ഇൻ എനി ഫീൽഡ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് എ വെറ്റർ വളരെ സീനിയർ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ആള് പ്രായം കൊണ്ടോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് കൊണ്ടോ വളരെ സീനിയർ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ആളെയാണ് നമ്മൾ വെറ്ററൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ദ ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് ഓഫ് വെറ്ററൻ ഇസ് നോവിസ് ദ ഷെറീഫ്സ് മെനി സോഴ്സസ് ഓഫ് ഇൻകം മെയ്ഡ് ഹിസ് ടാക്സ് ഫിഗേഴ്സ് കോംപ്ലിക്കേറ്റഡ് അതർവൈസ് ദ ഫിഗേഴ്സ് വുഡ് ബി സിമ്പിൾ ജോഫി എസ് അഫ്ന ഷിമ ശ്രീ ലക്ഷ്മി ബിബി ശ്രീ ലക്ഷ്മി കെ എസ് മെസിൻ യെസ് അഭിരാമി കൃഷ്ണേന്ദു ഷിത ബിൻസി അഞ്ജന നിത്യ റമീന യൂസഫ് സോ മെനി പീപ്പിൾ ഹാവ് റെസ്പോണ്ട് അഥർവ സർഗ അനുശ്രീ സഫിൻ കൃഷ്ണ Nina, Lina, Anjana, Antana, Raj, yes, uh, simple. So something which is complex is complicated, something which is light is simple. So the figures would be simple. Yes, Adhira KB. Saints lead a peaceful life. They don't desire a violent one. Yes, Anne Maria, Archita, Sri Lakshmi, Krishna Hindu. Shri Lakshmi Kes, uh, Abhirami, Neena, Ardhira Kebhi, Manjima, Jofi, Binsi, Shri Lakshmi Kes, Anjana Yannas, uh, Afna, Anjana Vibhi, Yamina, Nishita, Jisna, Anushri, Krishna, Nandana Raj, Aparna, yes, violent, uh, violent. So they don't desire a violent one. Yes, Alina. So, somebody who likes peace they don't like violence so peaceful violent peace anengil adin opposite violence okay peaceful nu parayunnathu adjective ayidundana violent nu adjective ayidu so peace nanengil adin opposite violence okay next one for cameroon the aliens are foreigners whereas his deputy is a native very good native someone who belongs to the same place native oh so many people so many people jofi abirami shima krishna indu k j sri lakshmi bibi dina sri lakshmi k s archida afna anjana ns nandana raj Vinci, Anjana, Ramina, Anishri, Nishita, Krishna, Sri Lakshmi, Safinath, Sarga, Jisna. Very nice. Thank you for those. Yes, Alina. Thank you for those responses. It means that someone who belongs to a particular place is called a native. We have a nativity certificate. We have a 
ജോയിൻ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ദാറ്റ് യു ബിലോങ് ടു ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഈ സ്ഥലത്തെ ആളാണെന്നുള്ളതിന് നമ്മളൊരു സർട്ടിഫിക്കറ്റ് വയ്ക്കും ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് നേറ്റിവിറ്റി സർട്ടിഫിക്കറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് യു ബിലോങ് ടു ദിസ് പ്ലേസ് യു ആർ എ നേറ്റീവ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ലാൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഹൗ ദിസ് ടേം കെയിം ഇറ്റ് ടു ബി So someone who belongs to another country is called a foreigner. Someone who belongs to the same country is called a native. Okay. We must believe in our ability and never doubt it. Very good. Jofi, Nina, Shri Lakshmi, Archita, Krishna, Hindu, Shri Ma, Shri Lakshmi, Kes, Ramina, Anjana, Manjima, Binsi, Afna, Nandana, Krishna, Nishira, Sarga, Amazing. Thank you. Thank you for those responses. Doubt. Doubt means disbelief. Yes. Alina, Safina, thank you for those responses. So doubt, the meaning of doubt is to disbelieve. The same, it has the same meaning as disbelieve in the world. It has the same meaning. Yes. Atharva, Abhirami. That is right. So we should believe in our ability and never doubt it. Doubt means to disbelieve. Writing requires a table which is steady and not a rickety one. Very good, very good. Jofi, Shrima, Shri Lakshmi, Vibhi, Neena, Abhirami, Ayas, Afna, Shri Lakshmi, Ayas, Manjima, Meena, Nishita, Archita, Vinci, Anjana, Krishnendu, Keji, Anjana, Vibhi, Krishna, Krishna, Pipi, Limiya, Febin. Alina in this. Rikiti means something that is uh, keeps making noise and keeps moving. Yes, Safina. Rikiti. Alagi kundra ikinna dana rikiti. Something which is stable is steady. Okay, something which is stable is called steady. Alagada ikinna dana steady. So this this is pronounced like this this uh, pronounced like this this is how it is pronounced steady okay okay there is another word uh, which is called a study which people uh, sometimes misunderstand also it is sometimes uh, the pronunciation is misunderstood okay i will i'll type that pronunciation also here so that you are able to understand the difference okay this is the word i am talking about study okay study and study they are two different words we should understand the difference in pronunciation okay study is pronounced as study study is a different pronunciation it has different meaning also study enu parnjal alagada nakkunathu study sta that is stay and another pronunciation it is sta and another pronunciation study study സ്റ്റഡി അളകാതെ നിൽക്കുന്നത് സ്റ്റഡി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ പഠിക്കുക വായിക്കുക എന്നൊക്കെയാണ് സ്റ്റഡി പഠിക്കുന്ന മുറിയേയും സ്റ്റഡി എന്ന് പറയും ഐ വാസ് ഇൻ മൈ സ്റ്റഡി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എ പ്ലേസ് വെയർ ഐ ഹാവ് എ ബിൻ സ്റ്റഡി ട്രൈങ് ടു ലേൺ എ പ്ലേസ് ഓഫ് ലേണിംഗ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് എ സ്റ്റഡി ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ സ്റ്റോപ്പ് ഫോർ ടുഡേ വിൽ കണ്ടിന്യൂ വിത്ത് ദിസ് ഇൻ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ജോയിനിങ് ഹാവ് എ വണ്ടർഫുൾ ഡേ ഹെഡ് ഗുഡ് ബൈ താങ്ക് യു സോ Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.